Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and a brand new day and brand new testing videos for us. And today we have the Light of Folia Incision in a Geo team that I'm going to be doing. And this one is going to be actually pretty interesting because the previous videos that I've done, like on Kerching and Ayaka, all are meant for attack scaling characters. Of course, Albedo still skills off a little bit of attack with his elemental burst, but for most players who play Albedo will know that most of his damage actually comes from his elemental skill, which skills off defense. This can also be a little bit interesting to run, especially because he gives himself and the rest of his party elemental mastery. So maybe some of you that, uh, if you, for example, you have Bannered C6, you might be able to cheese around and get a bit more of the effect. But mainly what I want to showcase here is this weapon compared together with the Miss Spitter Reforge to contrast the difference between the attack and to show really the value of this weapon because a lot of you are still not convinced that this is worth pulling for and you think that Miss Spitter is much better. But if we get more characters like LB in future who skills more off more with defense I do think that this weapon will become much more attractive or even like characters that skill with HP, EM and stuff like that but to make things to make this test really useful because all of us in the back of our mind knows that it's going to outperform Miss Splitter an uh, attack weapon we are going to do with Cinema Spindle his quote unquote best in slot right now in terms of like a 4 star defense equilibrium to see whether this 69 defense and the, the passive substats from Cinema Spindle is actually weaker or better than the Light of Folia Incision. Of course, those of you who don't even have this weapon and are using the Harbinger of Dawn, definitely this new 5 star is going to be superior to the Harbinger of Dawn based on the stats as well. Okay, enough talking already. Let's go and see some numbers and get into the video. We'll do a summary towards the end or those of you who don't want to see the testing, can just skip to the end for the summary video as well. You know. And now let's talk about some numbers. It's no surprise really that Simba Spindle outperformed the two 5 star weapons given that it has a lot of scaling meant specifically for Albedo in terms of all the passives and substats catered specifically for him. Of course, do note that this is an event limited weapon and for those of you who joined later or maybe don't uh, didn't play during the event when this Cinema Spindle was released, most of you likely will be using the Harbinger of Dawn and for this uh, weapon, the Harbinger of Dawn, is definitely significantly inferior to, for example, the Light of Folia Incision or even the Primordial Jade Cutter. So as we can see from the results using the Mist Splitter and the Light of Folia Incision, this is when we start to see the Mist Splitter start to fall apart in terms of its value proposition. Outside of attack scaling characters, which it does really well, it starts to underperform when you go into like defense scaling characters like Albedo or HP scaling characters uh, and EM scaling characters and so on and so forth. This Light of Folia Incision is kind of foolproof in a sense because of its, it gives you everything you need in crit and you can find the other substats elsewhere and it can be used virtually across the board on most of these characters in Genshin right now as well. And right now I want to try an interesting comp which is actually a DPS banner build with Light of Folia Incision. I have him at C6 so I'm able to self-infuse him, his normal attacks. So I'll link it in over here once it's done or you can just check back on the channel when it's ready as well. Meanwhile, you can check out other Light of Folia Incision videos here too or perhaps do like and subscribe if you like such straight to the point content as well. Cheers and see you in the next video.